Oh, my name is Richard Salas. I'm a professional photographer here in Santa Barbara. I have my own studio. I shoot mostly advertising, catalog work, uh, models, location, products, and underwater. And that's really where my passion lies. I love shooting the catalogs and I love my studio and the control that I have in my studio. I love that also. But what I love more is being out on the ocean and having less control and everything being more spontaneous and having the subject in your camera and particulate matter go in front of your face or in, in between the, the camera and the lens and, and how difficult it is to get the shot. And it really excites me. That's what it is. Everything is more alive, the things that I'm shooting in the ocean. And that makes me more alive. You know, I feel more alive by seeing that life. What I do is I shoot mostly catalogs with products in them, sometimes people, sometimes clothing, uh, a lot of jewelry. And sometimes the studio's filled with people. So there's an art director and an account executive and my assistant and all these people with all computers. And we pretty much put the whole catalog together in the studio as I shoot, uh, which is really a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Every day I look forward to coming to work. So that's what I do on land, and that's my studio on land. But my real passion is in the ocean, and the studio that's in the ocean, and the, the life that's in the ocean that makes me feel more alive. In my studio, I have everything at my disposal. I have four or five different types of lights that I can bring in on a product. I have people to help me. I have uh, stands, all this equipment, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. When I go into the ocean, I have my camera and I have two lights. But I bring with me the experience that from the studio to the ocean. And that's what I think separates me from other photographers, is that I have that studio experience and I shoot the animals like they're in my studio. And a quote that I read one time that I think is very true is la luz es verdad, which means the light is the truth. And that's what it is for me, is my light is exposing or revealing the truth of the life that I'm photographing underwater. And it's beautiful. I think my love of the ocean came when my mom used to take me to the beach and it developed in me a curiosity about the ocean, about looking into the tide pools. And then many years later I got to dive and the, I think the first time that I ever went underwater sort of renewed that love affair that I had with the tide pools. And I've been passionate about it ever since. And it wasn't until I was 20 years old that I got to go under the surface of the water and swim in my own tide pool or the ocean. and reacquaint myself with those same friends that I had back when I was a kid. On that first dive, I remember floating down to the bottom and watching the sunlight shimmer through the kelp, this kelp forest that reminded me of the redwoods when I used to stroll through the redwoods, but the light came beaming down and just sort of took my breath away. And I'm always looking for that every time I dive, and it's a beautiful scene. After that first dive, I loved diving so much that I put off school, got a nine to five job so I could buy my equipment and just dive. And then after that, got a job on the Just Love, which was the boat of Brooks Institute of Photography, which is the school that I was going to. Once I got the job on the boat, the whole experience was, for me as a student was like going out on a Cousteau expedition twice a month, exploring the Channel Islands and falling more and more deeply in love with diving, with the Channel Islands, and with the experiences that I was having up there, both night diving, sea lion, diving with sea lions, diving with sharks. It's like my life was full of life and full of the sea. So after all these great experiences that I had on the Just Love, I graduated and I didn't dive for 20 years. I worked on building a business 
building a family, buying a house. So for 20 years, that's what I did. So after those 20 years, my oldest son graduated college and we thought, what better thing to do than to go diving together? And so we got all the equipment and we went out to Anacapa Island, one of my favorite Channel Islands, and we jumped in the water. And it wasn't the same as it was back then in the 70s. I thought, where was the life? Where was all the abundance that I remember in those days? And it was sort of like I remember a rainforest and I'm presented with a desert and I was very sad. And yet at the same time, here I am diving Anacapa Island with my son. I, and I'm back diving again after 20 years. So I was elated with that. So it was an interesting day of mixed feelings, very mixed feelings, deep feelings. So after this incredible dive experience with my son, I knew that I had to bring my photography back to the ocean and bring myself back to the ocean and share it with divers and non-divers and record what's going on right now. And this is where my passion started to grow back with the ocean, which was fantastic. So with, with wide angle lenses, I shoot things like sea lions, which are six to eight feet long. And with macro, I shoot things uh, like jewelry or things as small as my fingernails. And this is the studio that I bring to the ocean. So as I shot more and more pictures, and as I showed them to more and more people, I've, I've never considered myself an artist on all the things that I've ever shot. But as I viewed these pictures, I started to think that that's what this is. This is art. This is the art that I create now. This is the art that I'm passionate about. This is the art that I need to share with everyone. This is what I have to say about the ocean. This is what I have to say about the Channel Islands, my Channel Islands. And that became very, very clear. And I get to be an artist. So as an artist, I decided that I need to publish a book. I need to publish my vision of the Channel Islands, and it's gonna be called Sea of Light. And I think you're gonna enjoy it. You are watching diveintoyourimagination.com.